Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day is off to a great start. We are, we're still in the dining room today. So um, I mentioned in yesterday's video that uh, I still have the tree up in the formal living room and it's quite dark in there. So um, I'm filming in here for now. So in, enjoy, enjoy a different background for a little bit. But um, anyway, you guys, I'm continuing on with my best of 2023 series. And right now we are kind of in the home fragrance stretch of the favorites from last year. So yesterday I shared my favorites from Bath and Body Works and um, I am limiting myself to five candles that I am sharing in these different videos. Now today's grouping of candles are what I'm calling the, I guess you could say the one-offs or the randoms from brands that I don't have enough of to really put together like a top five for like each brand if that makes sense um over the last couple of years i have started to branch out a little bit i need to do more of it i know <laughs> but i have started to branch out to different candle companies trying different um trying some different brands trying some different formulations some different fragrances things that are new to me. Um, I tend to be someone who is very, very loyal to the brands that I um, very much enjoy. And so that's really a lot of the home fragrance content that you see on my channel. You know, I, I tend to have a preference for Homeworks, for Kringle, for Bath & Body Works. Um, but I do admit that there are so many treasures out there that I have yet to discover and it is something that I am definitely interested in branching out to a little bit more. Um, I've had a couple of requests to review more luxury brand type candles and that is on my list. Um, so yeah, I just... I want to keep going back to the companies that I know and love because I'm very loyal like that, but I also think it's important to try new things because if you're always buying the same thing over and over again, I think it kind of limits you in a way and the home fragrance world has exploded in the last, I would say, like five to 10 years. Um, I mean, candles, potpourri, wax melts, you know, anything s smelly related to the home has been kind of a thing for a long time. Um, but I do really think that especially in the last, I would say, decade, this whole um, world of home fragrance has really kind of blown up. And so many more people are interested in this particular hobby than ever before. And I love that. It just, it means that we are getting um, so much more feedback from a larger variety of people. I'm someone who personally loves watching candle reviews. I love reading reviews on candles before making purchases. I just really rely heavily on that. Um, so even though everybody's nose is slightly different and, you know, just because one person smells like a particular grouping of, you know, maybe fragrance notes in a candle, somebody else could pick up a totally different, like, vibe or... <laughs> or smell from the exact same scent. Um, I also do think that, you know, everybody's home is unique. The, uh, the ambient temperature inside, the airflow, the height of your ceilings, the size of your rooms, whether it's open concept or whether, you know, it's like, I guess you could say like a more old fashioned type of home where things, are, where rooms are a little bit more closed off all of that play a role in how home fragrance is going to perform for you. So the performance part of it is always kind of like, eh, you know, like that can definitely vary. Um, with my house here, we moved from a home that was, um, I would say significantly smaller than this one, um, much more like closed off areas in, in our last home. This place here is super open concept. It was like, a typical like early 2000s build where you know just everything is like open to everything else that is great in terms of feeling everything feels very spacious but also it can kind of be tough with home fragrance sometimes because 
Um, you know, when you have larger spaces with higher ceilings, it can be a little bit more difficult to get candles to perform for you. So, you know, I do utilize accessories like candle sleeves and hurricanes and things like that. And, um, I've talked about those quite a bit here on my channel. I think those can make a really, really big difference. So, um, anyway, I want to get into the five sort of randoms that I wanted to share with you guys in this video. So these are candles from different companies where I just didn't have enough again for like a dedicated brand review, but these are candles that really kind of rocked my world last year. Things that I really enjoyed. Um, some of them were just usual staples that I get every single year. Some of them are, some of them are now like not available at all. <laughs> and I'm down to my last two, um, but I have hope. Um, let's, you know what, let's actually start there. So just cause I'm looking at it right now, Henry Bendel candles. So the reason I have hope is because last year, I think it was on Instagram. Was it Instagram or was it in one of the candle groups? I cannot remember. But I saw someone posting that Henry Bendel candles were making their way back into a very select few um, Bath and Body Works stores. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, yes. So Henry Bendel overall, um, this was an interesting company because they also did um, accessories like handbags and um, you know stuff like that. But they also had like a home fragrance line. And the home fragrance line was sold in Bath and Body Works. And then you could also purchase it, purchase the candles from their website as well. I don't know how Henry Bendel and Bath and Body Works like ended up in cahoots together at some point, but I do remember seeing these in my local Bath and Body Works quite frequently. Now I didn't really go for them for the longest time because they were just, they cost more. <laughs> they cost more than the Bath and Body Works candles. And I was like, eh, you know, like, I'm sure they're nice, but these are cheaper. They're three wicks, you know, yada, yada. But it finally, finally, I went for them and I discovered this delicious vanilla bean. Um, oh, you guys, as far as vanilla candles go, this one is just such a beautiful one. I have two left. They are literally still wrapped, like, in the plastic here. I don't even want to open this because I'm not ready to burn it quite yet. I do see myself finishing one this year, and then I'll save one for 2025. I don't know when this year I'm going to open this, but I do know that I'm not going to hang on to it forever, and I do need to enjoy it. But this particular vanilla candle has the best strength and throw it's a one wick like it is a one wick candle in fact it's the same size as it's eight ounces right 9.4 but roughly about the same size as oh what happened here sad <laughs> i don't know what happened to this candle all right, well, anyway, roughly, the, we'll discuss this one later, but um, that's a Nest One Wick candle, by the way. So, um, yeah, the strength and throw is just fantastic, like, especially for a vanilla. Vanilla candles typically kind of struggle, right? That scents, like, an entire, like, area of the downstairs of my house here. That's saying a lot, because, again, we have high ceilings, large open concept in here, um, and that candle just does incredibly well for me. I just, I really hope that the Henry Bendel candles are going to be coming back. If you have any info on this, will you let me know? Either in the comments or send me a DM or something. I don't know if this partnership is like still moving forward or if it's even still a thing or if this was just like some one-off. Um, but I'm super hopeful that the Henry Bendel candles come back. Um, the wax formulation is kind of interesting. It's softer. I think they use like a coconut wax. Let's see. I don't, it doesn't say on here. They just say a signature blend wax base. <laughs> they use all natural lead free wicks. Yada, yada. Anyway, um, listen. If you ever come across one of these in the wild, like, I don't know, maybe you come across one at like, Goodwill or something. I don't know who would get rid of these, but 
if you ever see them, they're so worth picking up. Vanilla Bean was really the one that I enjoyed the most in terms of like their fragrances. They had one that was called, I think, Cashmere. That one was quite good as well. And they did do a really pretty rose scented one too. I don't know, I love these. Let me know down below if you miss Henry Bendel because, oh man. I need those to come back. Let's discuss this. I really don't know what the hell happened to this candle. I'm gonna be able to fix it. I'm just gonna put it underneath my candle lamp, but um, I must have never like looked at this one when I ordered it and um, yeah, something went wrong, right? Like <laughs> the wax is all like wonky. No. Huh. Okay, so Nest. Nest one wick candles are my favorite. I really struggle with the three wicks um, and I'm not the only one. Um, no matter what three wick I have purchased from Nest, whether it's a citrus scent or another type of scent, um, they get really messy and dirty for me after about the, I would say, just about the halfway point, sometimes even earlier. And by messy, I mean the wax gets super, super discolored and it does affect the fragrance of the candles. So for me, I tend to stick with these one wicks, which is fine. These are also less expensive. Um, Nest candles are quite spendy, you guys. I will typically only buy them when I have a 20% or more off. I also notice that Nest tends to raise their prices every single year, like clockwork. I don't know how much further past $48 they can go for their one wicks before people are like, what are you doing? Um, I, re I really think that these are a little bit overpriced, but that being said, Nest has some incredible scents and I love the Nest perfumes. I am such a sucker for Indigo, Midnight, Midnight Fleur is now discontinued. I will never forgive her. Um, they also have a new um, lychee rose or rose lychee that is, oh, if you haven't smelled it, walk yourself into a Sephora, go sniff it out. I'm gonna be picking it up. I'm, I'm gonna get it in the travel size first because I need to do that for, my, for the sake of my perfume collection. But it is so beautiful. If you're a sucker for a rose-based scents, you need to check that one out. But anyway, my two staples every single year from Nest are Holiday, which is this one right here, and then Birchwood Pine. I don't have a backup of Birchwood Pine right now. Um, I will be buying one come the holiday season for sure, but I do for whatever reason have two of these Nest Holiday candles on backup. Um, but I just, th these two candles have been a staple for me for a number of years at this point. Um, I remember, I think even at my old house, I was burning the, oh, for sure, for sure I was burning them at the old house, um, the Birchwood Pine and the Holiday together. Birchwood Pine is just a very straightforward, like classic holiday tree scent. Um, beautiful, perfectly done, and it is the, it's the absolute perfect match for holiday. Holiday is your typical like citrus cranberry, hint of spice, um, hint of tree type holiday scent. It's very sophisticated. I call that my fancy lady holiday candle. And um, honestly, probably no matter what the price point, I will always have both of those on hand for every holiday season. I might not be able to, you know, get like a couple, <laughs> but I will always for sure have one of each of those to burn each holiday season. I loved it this year. I picked up the duo of Birchwood Pine and Holiday uh, from Sephora. Sephora does carry Nest candles. If, if I purchase Nest, I try, to get, I try to get them from Sephora. I get points there, which then results in dollars off for me. It's, it's not as good as Ulta. And actually Ulta now is carrying a number of the Nest fragrances as well. I don't think they carry quite as many as Sephora does, but man, the rewards at Ulta are like worlds better than over at um, Sephora. So um, I think Nest candles are definitely worth checking out. Uh, if they come out with some new scents this year that intrigue me, I'll definitely pick them up and review them for you guys. I'm actually currently burning the Madagascar Vanilla, which is new to me. I'm gonna be reviewing that one here um, probably in a couple of weeks, but it's lovely. <laughs> definitely recommend that particular vanilla. 
Okay, so next I want to mention, mention a Candleberry scent. Now, Candleberry was a company that I had on my um, candle brands to try list for a very long time. And last year I made my first order from them. I started with my very first order picking up a bunch of their wax melts. And um, that allowed me to smell a bunch of the different fragrances that I was interested in. I really enjoyed a lot of the scents and a few of them I was just like, ooh, I don't know, I don't like this. Um, but the great thing is that I just ordered the wax melts. So I wasn't stuck with like a large, you know, candle that I was in all likelihood probably just going to pass along to someone else because if the, if the fragrance doesn't interest me, I pass those along to my friends and family who are always grateful to have like new candles to, you know, enjoy. Um, but the scent that I fell in love with, and I ended up ordering one of their cookie jars. If you haven't seen these Candleberry cookie jars, they are hysterical. It's a literal like massive glass cookie jar and it has four wicks. I think it was four wicks. Um, vanilla crumb cake was the fragrance that really rocked my world. So that was what I chose. Oh man, if you're gonna buy one of those cookie jars, you better really love the scent because you're gonna have it forever. It took me such a long time to get through this candle, but it was delicious. It It's a really nice vanilla that definitely has a very distinct cake, like vanilla cake type note. Um, it had just a little bit of like a fall spice vibe to it, but not like, not to the point where I don't think that you could burn it during other times of the year. I really love the scent. In fact, I think both Craig and Stella really enjoyed it as well. Um, but I did have to take a break from it for a few months uh, when I just got tired of smelling it all the time, even though it smells so good. But it, there was just so much wax in this freaking candle. I think those retail for about $159. They do have sales sometimes, um, but, I don't know. I mean, I, I think it was worth it. It certainly lasted me a very, very long time. And if there's a fragrance that you really love, they're worth picking up. So um, the burn was fairly clean. I think, I believe they use a soy blend in their candles. The wax melts are quite hard. Those almost feel like paraffin wax melts. I didn't love their wax melts. Um, I think they're worth picking up because they're cheaper than the candles so that you can smell the different fragrances, but the performance of those wasn't super stellar. But candle performed really great in terms of strength and throw. It was not super messy, but also not the super cleanest burn either. Clean enough for me, um, and I'm pretty stringent with that, so um, I think most people would be like, yeah, this is fine. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed that one, and it was, super fun to get a massive candle like that. <laughs> I think that was one of the first times that I had a candle of like that, just that mass. I think the thing weighed like 10, it was huge, you guys, like 10 pounds of candle. So um, anyway, definitely recommend checking that out. And speaking of massive candles, okay, so Velispa. Uh, I started uh, with this particular scent, which this is the scent that I really like. Oh, it's so good. It was their Noble Fur Garland. Um, this I picked up at the Sephora sale in November and immediately fell in love with it, you guys. Not only because the fragrance itself was like a very authentic, like Noble Fur holiday tree scent. Um, you know, that slightly sweet, sappy note was also, it was just gorgeous just a beautiful scent but the vessels and i think this is what you pay a lot for when it comes to velispa candles is their vessels i just fell in love with this glass oh first of all i love all things green and there's small touches of gold with the little gold like accent on the little balls these look like little fans with little balls on the end um just so beautiful right the scent itself was stunning i I have always struggled with Velispa candles in their tin format or in their regular like one wick jars. Um, the one wick jars I think retail for around like $26, $28, somewhere around there. So not terribly expensive, but probably more than what most people are willing to spend. 
But I think, again, a large part of it is the vessels. These vessels from Velispa, and all of them are different. And a lot of them have that beautiful kind of like mercury glass finish, which I'm such a sucker for. Um, but uh, with this particular scent, I just loved it so much, you guys, that I bought the big, I bought the big hearth. Is massive it's a huge five wick i've already put it upstairs um i didn't finish it there was I, it's gonna take me i think two more christmases to finish that one i got it on sale for i think it was like a hundred i think i paid 188 at either bloomingdale's or neiman marcus they were having a really good sale um and then i also had like 10 or 11 percent cash back from Rakuten so that saved me another I think like 20 bucks or something off the candle oh my gosh you guys it was worth every penny not only is the strength and throw incredible because it's a five wick like these things are they are massive like I'm probably 15 I think this candle weighs like 15 pounds it is big and beautiful and it had this glass like this design it came with a stunning lid i'm going to use that thing as a champagne bucket uh when i'm done with it i that glass will never leave my possession just like this will never leave my possession so beautiful worth every penny and um, i really hope the scent itself sticks around I am not familiar enough with Velispa to know whether they bring back the same holiday scents every single year. I know that they're like crushed, I think it's crushed candy cane. I know that's a really popular scent for them and I do know that that one tends to come back but I don't know if they cycle out some of their other holiday scents. So if you know a little bit more about Velispa, please enlighten me and the rest of us here in the, in the comment section down below um, if you're a Velispa expert. <laughs> love to pick your brain um but this is a brand that i really want to try more from but i i am not buying their tins i will not be purchasing their one wicks if i am purchasing from Velispa, it's going to have to be like their like luxe sizes so either their three wicks which is what this was or their hearth sized candles like the big mama jama um uh, they do on their website. I noticed this on their website. You can kind of build your own little like sample. There's a few scents that I'm interested in, but I want, I do want to smell them first. And you can create a, I think it's a trio. It's either a trio or a five pack of their one wick like tin candles, which are great for a bathroom. Like, don't get me wrong, those candles do fine in a bathroom, but not in an open concept situation like this. Like I would not be able to smell one of those tins even just in this dining room. Like it's, it's just, it's it's not a thing. But um, it will allow me to try a few more of their fragrances. And then the next time that I see some kind of sale somewhere on Velispa, like larger jars, I will definitely bite and purchase more. I just am so intrigued by not only the vessels, but some of the fragrances that I have yet to try. Um, I also have their Guild Pomander and Hinoki. That's a really interesting scent. It's a really popular holiday scent from them. I don't love that one. Like I would never purchase that one in the hearth size, but if you like that Hinoki scent, um, you might wanna check that one out. Um, it's quite potent. If That one I had in the downstairs guest bathroom and that one wick did beautifully in there and but it, but it was a little bit like, ooh, this is, this is a strong Hinoki note in here. So it's not your typical pomander scent where there's just focus on like citrus and clove. Like that Hinoki I think is actually like, I would say like almost 75% of that particular fragrance. But if you're into that, that's a great scent for you. So um, anyway, Velispa is a candle company that I will be buying more from, but in the larger format, which means that I'm gonna have to save up a little bit, which is fine. I am definitely reallocating my candle budget a little bit more this year. Um, and uh, so, yeah, it's fine. I, I just need to, I just need to watch my spending a little bit. Um, I do have this really great hobby and I do think that having my YouTube channel is a great excuse for this like candle hobby of mine but I do still want to be respectful of budget and make sure that I don't go too ham because once again, I also don't want my candle collection to explode. So 
Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for being here for this video. We have one more to go and it's going to be the best of from Kringle. I'm saving Kringle for last because actually I, th I I'm having the hardest time picking my top five, not because like there wasn't enough for me to choose from in terms of favorites. I had a ton of favorites from Kringle last year and um, but I do want to narrow it down to five. So I'm going to think a little bit more on that one. And then that video will be coming, um, probably this next Monday. And then that'll be the end of the best of candle series. But I will also have my current candle collection by brand, as well as showing you guys kind of how I'm currently organizing everything. That will be coming up towards the latter part of January. So obviously, if you're interested in that, make sure that you're subscribed. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Let me know what some of your kind of like one-off candles from whatever brand were in the comments down below. Um, and let me know if there's any that I need to like be keeping an eye out in terms of brands whether affordable or luxury um, and specifically like gourmand fruity type scents those are still my fave I mean I've branched out a lot but those are definitely still my favorite types of like scent categories so let me know down below thank you guys so much for being here I appreciate you so much um, and I'll see you in the next one take care Toodaloo.